Today, I want to talk about how your developer thoughts, opinions, and priorities will change and evolve over time throughout your career. And this was inspired by this awesome chart that Leah Veru uh, created and tweeted out. I'll link to the tweet, read through the replies, some good discussion going on there. But uh, I thought it just sums it up nicely, even if it is like a little tongue in cheek, like it's not a scientific study, don't take it too seriously, but it does pretty much sum up how it goes. And I wanted to discuss this because most of my audience is, you know, at the relative beginning of their career. So it's nice to see like how you could potentially evolve. And let's start with the blue line, the code readability line. Uh, as you can see, you kind of dip into this valley of I'm an elite hacker, you noob. And that's at about the three to six year range. And what typically happens, and again, it's not everybody, but what typically happens is you start to become pretty knowledgeable. You start knowing your stuff and naturally you want to show it off. You want to showcase what you know when you start writing this insanely clever terse code, single letter variables, way over abstracted. It's just way too clever for its own good that it becomes like unreadable, hard to understand. You have to explain it to somebody else for an hour before they get it. And the reason you evolved to this is because by this point in your career, You've worked in a few different code bases and you've likely gone through the nightmare of dealing with this overly clever, overly abstracted code. And you realize that's way more difficult to work with than the more simpler, straightforward, easy to reason about code. And you realize that actually equals more productivity than the less lines of code overly abstracted thing. So you start to stress code readability the later you get in your career, again, because you've been through it, you've seen some stuff. And now let's go to the black line, the dry line, which stands for don't repeat yourself, right? So earlier in your career, you're writing a lot of repetitive code. Maybe you don't quite know how to refactor yet, but then at some point in your career, you learn how to refactor and it's, it's like magical and kind of along the lines of like showing off what you know, you start over abstracting and refactoring everything. Like even if you repeat yourself just once, it's refactored, it's abstracted away. And what happens there is your code base becomes way more complex than it needs to be because you have all these abstractions everywhere, right? It becomes more more confusing than helpful. And as you grow and evolve in your career, you start to realize that repeating yourself sometimes for the sake of code readability and ease of understanding is perfectly fine. And not only is it just fine, like it's actually desirable again, because you start to take the opinion that I want my code base to be easy for any new developer to come in, whether they're senior, junior, they should come in and be onboarded and have an easy time to get up and running, not have to learn all kinds of crazy stuff. So as you can see, as the black line finishes out, you kind of evolve into this happy medium area of like, yeah, definitely if you're repeating yourself a lot, abstract that away, refactor that, but don't take it to an extreme. Repeating yourself sometimes is fine for the sake of readability and understanding. And then finally get to the red line, does it actually work? And I'll admit when I first saw this uh, chart, I kind of chuckled and thinking that was like kind of like a joke, like, oh, the code doesn't even work. But you know, Leah clarified in the comments what they meant by this, right? They it meant that like when you're first starting out in junior, all you care about is the code working. You don't care about the code quality, readability. I just want to get this to work. However, as you evolve in your career, the code readability, uh, all that stuff is a higher priority than it working. And the reason being, which you know makes sense, is you can debug and fix code in like a couple hours a day. It could take months to rewrite an unreadable code base, right? That is much more of a long-term issue than just fixing a quick bug in the code or getting this small feature to work, right? It's one takes a lot less time than the other. So that's why later in your career, you're prioritizing the code readability and the ease of use over does it actually work? Cause you can get it working pretty quick by fixing it. And again, I wanted to share this cause I know many of you may be in this early part of your career. So you can kind of see how you may evolve and maybe you can start that evolution uh, a little bit early, maybe hearing some of the reasons I gave, but anyway, great chart by Leah here. Uh, definitely check it out on Twitter, read through the comments. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one.